Let me begin by bringing the very warm felicitations of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Mohamed Buhari, who has asked me to extend his congratulations to the governor and the government and the people of Imo State today. It's a very special pleasure for me to join you at this historic flag off of the hydro hydrographic survey and dredging of the proposed sea route from Oguta Lake, Orashi, Degema to the Atlantic Ocean. This project is a vital collaboration between the state government, the Nigerian Navy, and a consortium of technical partners. It was initiated and approved under the stewardship of President Muhammad Buhari and Governor Hope Uzodima. As we've heard, almost as far back as 1914, the British, understanding its strategic importance in connecting the hinterland to the coast, utilized this route to facilitate the smooth export of produce, such as palm oil, timber, and coal, from Oguta and its neighboring regions. The route has always been a vital component of our national potential for increased trade and economic prosperity. Today, we aim to revive this once vibrant and economically strategic channel, furthering job creation and sustainable growth in Imo State and the entire Southeast region, and indeed our nation. By enhancing coastal connectivity and facilitating seamless transportation, the project will promote trade and investment and spur growth in multiple sectors, including shipping, manufacturing, agriculture, and also offer numerous opportunities for the people. But the good news doesn't end there. The president only a few days ago, as we've heard from the Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, granted Governor Hopu Zodima's request to declare Oguta, Ohaji, Egbema, and environs as an oil and gas free trade zone. This proposed free trade zone, this proposed free trade zone has one of the largest hydrocarbon deposits in the country. Again, this is another clear winner. The synergy between the dredge sea route and the free trade zone will deliver enormous commercial benefits. Also with the dredging project, the Navy will be better equipped to protect our coastlines, thereby curbing crude oil theft and illegal bunkering and other criminal activities that appear to have taken advantage of the very difficult terrain for the operational use of naval platforms. A secure environment paves the way for thriving business and increased revenue for all parties, including states and the federal government as improved access to the sea stimulates exports and imports, the coastal communities in these parts will be better positioned to reap the benefits of increased trade and income. And there is no better time to have set this in motion than now. You can rest assured that the federal government will continue its support to the state in ensuring that we bring this project to fruition and realize its full capabilities. But none of this can be done without the full support of the community, who without doubt remain invaluable partners in unlocking the vast potential of this region. Your participation, understanding, and cooperation are essential in overcoming any challenges that may arise during the implementation phase. I therefore urge you all to join hands with the state government and stakeholders to ensure a seamless execution that benefits everyone. By working together, we can create a vibrant economic corridor and transform our community and benefit all of us for generations to come. Let me especially commend the foresight and political pragmatism of your dynamic governor, His Excellency Hope Uzodima, who I call the great hope always. <laughs> Aside from the numerous infrastructure projects that he has undertaken in barely three years, and I've been here to commission several road projects, he has also mastered the art 
of close collaboration with the federal government for the benefit of this state and the Southeast region. This project, for, for example, could not have been done without the blessing of the president. The oil and gas free zone also needed an obtained presidential approval. Again, on the governor's application, as we've heard, and his request, the president approved the complete takeover of the Alvin Ikoku College of Education Oweri, as well as the conversion and upgrading of the Federal Medical Center Oweri to a teaching hospital for the training of doctors by the Federal University of Technology Oweri. The last time I was here in Imo, it was to commission a garment industry shared facility for Imo young people. Also, donated at the urging of the governor by the federal government under our MSME clinics program. Not long after, His Excellency Mr. President also graced this land personally to commission key road projects. But this project that we are here today to flag off is a unique one. There are projects and there are projects. This is an economic transformation project. It is a game changer. It is a game changer for Imo State, Nigeria, and the West Coast of Africa. It is one of those one-of-a-kind projects whose benefits have always been glaring, but vision, courage, and tenacity were required to bring it to fruition. And we all owe Governor Hope Uzodima gratitude for bringing hope to our nation and our subregion. I will commend him for his wise, creative, and focused leadership. Your Excellency, I urge you to keep up the great work. This state and our nation will be all the better for your purpose-driven governance and leadership. It is now my very special pleasure and privilege to officially flag off this historic endeavor, the hydrographic survey and dredging of the proposed sea route from Oguta Lake to the Atlantic Ocean. This project will fulfill its promise of radical transformation, Amen. not only for this economy, but the economy of the Southeast, our nation, and our region, and also for the benefit of all of our peoples. Thank you all very much for listening.